I guess it's time to make the video. Hello, my YouTube friends. So you want to remove your background for a video or a live stream, but you don't want the hassle of a green screen and all the extra lighting. I totally get it. A real green screen is a pain in the butt, and there are tools out there that can do nearly as well these days. So today, I'm going to show you all the different tools that you can use in OBS to remove your background. So you know what? Let's get to it! Let's start with the OG of OBS background removal tools. It's a simple OBS plugin and it's totally simple to install. Here's the background removal plugin page. There is a link in the description down below so you can check it out. All we have to do is click go to download. It's going to take us to the GitHub. And we just come down here and look for the platform we're using. It has Mac, Windows, and Linux. I'm using the Windows. We're going to use the installer. Some of these are just zip files that you can just place the files in your OBS directory, but the installer is the easiest, so we'll just select that. Then all we have to do is go into our downloads, double click on the download package. Then we're going to get an administrative prompt that you can't see, but just click yes. And then next, just make sure that this is your OBS directory. Mine is in a different location than yours probably is. Yours is going to be program files, OBS dash studio, something like that. Just make sure it's the right directory. Click next and then install and then click finish and it's all ready to go. So if we go into OBS, all we have to do is right click on video capture device or whatever your camera device is and go to filters. Then we're going to click the plus and we're just going to go up here and find our background removal. And here it is right here and click OK. And we can adjust our background right here. Uh, it also has advanced settings so we can set threshold up, make it look a little better. Uh, as you can see, you know, with my lights in the background and stuff, this can get a little bit wonky. We can also set our interface device uh, so it could use CPU or GPU, all that sort of stuff. So you can definitely tweak this up to make it look a lot better if you want. But generally speaking, this is what you get with this particular plugin. Now, out of all the methods I'm going to show you today, the background removal plugin gives you the worst results and it has the highest rate of causing some sort of issue, whether it's OBS lockups or high CPU usage. But then again, it is really easy to set up and use. Now, the next one I'm going to show you is a really cool tool that can do a lot more and just remove your background. So this is the Prism Live Studio landing page and we're gonna go up here to product. We wanna use this Prism Lens right here. So we're just gonna go ahead and select that and we can select Windows or Mac and just download this and install it. It installs exactly the same as the plugin that I showed you earlier. So once it's installed, this is what it's gonna look like. You have a bunch of different lenses, lens one, lens two, lens three. What we're basically gonna do is drop this down for lens one and we're going to select our camera in this case there we go and then all you have to do to remove the background is click here but if we put this in our obs well it's not going to work the way that you think it would work so let me show you what i mean we'll go into obs right here and we're going to click the plus and we're going to go to video capture device and we'll just call this cam and what we're going to do is drop this down and we're going to select our prism lens one and we'll just go ahead and select our microphone with use custom audio device there we go and click ok but you can see that the black in the background is not as transparent as we would hope so what we want to do is just upload just a green card and stick that in there all we have to do is select it to put it in as our background and then we can go over here into obs right click on cam go to filters click the plus and just turn chroma key on and there we go now we have a really really nice looking green screened background this is super super easy we also have the audio so everything works great and the nice thing about prism lens is it has other features so we can go here and click free and we can change our background up and they have a whole bunch of different ones and you can see it's just translates directly in OBS when we change this up. There we go. So we can remove our background and we can add the green screen, but we can also add stuff like this. 
makes it really, really easy. I uploaded this green card to make it simple to just remove the background, but you can use any of the free ones or anything like that. You could see they also have videos that you could put in the background. Some of these are pretty cool. And I haven't seen any of these that cost any money. So, you, you know, if you, you just want a snowy background or something like that, well, you can hook it up. There's so much more that you can do with Prism Lens. There is a link in the description. So go ahead and check it out for yourself. Now, Prism Lens is pretty light on the CPU. And with the other features, it can be an awesome tool for your live streams. But what if you don't want to install anything? Well, this one requires no install at all. All right, here is the StreamFog landing page. There is a link in the description down below so you can go check it out. You have to log in with Twitch. If you don't have a Twitch, just go get one. They're totally free. Once you do, all you have to do is log in. It's just how you get in here. It's really simple to use. We're gonna go down here to the camera setup. The first thing we wanna do is make sure that we have the proper camera in here in our camera inputs and that we have our camera resolution set up properly. And we're just gonna click on the setup guide and we wanna take this right here and just left click on it to copy it. If you're on Windows, if you're on Mac, Here's a set of instructions to follow on Mac. I'm going to show you on the Windows one. So once we click this to copy that out, all we have to do is go into our shortcut for OBS, right click and go to properties. And we just want to modify this target link. So your link is going to end with the OBS64.exe. Just put a space in there and then paste in this information right here that we just copied. Once you do that, we're all set. You just close out of OBS, open it back up, and now we can go ahead and put the camera in there. So what we're gonna do is go over here and click next and click next, and we're just gonna copy this URL. We'll go down here into OBS, and we're gonna click the plus, we're gonna go to browser, and we'll just call this browser cam, and we're just gonna paste it in here, and we're gonna use that resolution 1920 by 1080. We want to make sure that control audio via OBS is on. Click OK. And then we're going to get this little thing here. Just make sure that camera is selected. We're going to go to interact and we're going to click that. And there we go. So now we're all set and we can use our lenses. All we have to do is go back into our... So all we have to do is go back into stream fog. We could just click the X up here and we'll go over into our AR lenses and just go to search and type green screen or just green. You can see it right here. You just want to click the plus to add it to your lenses and you can go to your dashboard and there it is, green screen. We can select it. Then when we go back over into OBS, you can see that we have the green screen right there. We're gonna right click on cam, go to filters, and we're just gonna click the plus right here. We're gonna go to chroma key, click okay. And you can adjust your settings if you want. There's really no need to click close. And there we go. Now the one last thing that you should know is that you could see over here where it says cam, we're not getting my audio. And that's because it's picking up other audio sources for different things that StreamFog does. So we're gonna wanna add our microphone in here separately. You just click the plus and you go to an audio input capture and you just drop this down and select your microphone and click okay. And now you could see that we do have two microphones. One is the audio input capture, which is my microphone. The other one is for cam, which is going to perform different things for stream fog when you play AR animations and things like that. So there you go. So now we've got a green screen and this works pretty good. Stream fog has it set up pretty nice and it doesn't use much CPU at all. So we're all set up. If we go over in here, you can see there's all kinds of other awesome lenses that we could choose from right here, along with lots of other stuff. I've done videos on this. If you want to check those out, I'll leave a link at the end. 
StreamFrog does so many awesome things on top of background removal. And even if you don't love the background removal, you should probably be using it for something on your live stream. The last method is definitely gonna give you the best results. So for this one, we're gonna use the NVIDIA background removal, and it is in the video effects piece right here in the SDK downloads. So all you have to do is select which card you have, 20 series, 30 series, 40 series, 50 series, download this, and install it. The install is the same as the plugin one we did. It's just a standard install. Once you have it installed, just go into OBS and what we're gonna do is click the plus. We're gonna go to video capture device and we're just gonna select our regular camera and I'm gonna go ahead and use a custom audio device, select my microphone and click OK. Now all we have to do is right click on cam, go to filters, click the plus and we can go to one of our NVIDIA plugins. In this case, the NVIDIA background removal tool. Boom, and it removes our background. There's a couple of different modes and different thresholds that you could select, but for the most part, this just works and it looks really good. You get great results with this. It's that simple to set up the NVIDIA one. Like I said, it has the best results, but the downside is you have to have an NVIDIA card to use it. So what is your background removal method of choice? Let me know about it down in the comments. And if you want to learn more about all the amazing things that you can do with StreamFog, you should check one of these videos out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.